Why and when did you interested in non-sexist communication? Okay, I think I started interested in non-sexist communication since my second year of journalism because I noticed that none of my classes um, were about this topic. So I started um, organizing with other um, friends that also worried about this topic. How much work has it cost you to organize instance to talk about non-sexist communication? Um, it doesn't take much, much actually. It just take um, what's hardest is to get people interested in this because not many people are into stuff like this. They worry about other stuff, so that's what takes the most. But it's pretty easy. I mean, you just have to get two or three people that are interested and you have a situation. <laughs> what moment do we see sexy headlines in the newspaper? Um, I think every day in any newspaper. I mean, you don't have, it doesn't take too much to find sexy headlines or um, notes or anything pretty much. You have to go through newspapers or even the TV shows and you have to, you'll find anything that exists, pretty much. Um, what is the importance of non-sexist communication in education? Okay, I believe it's really important because that's where you get your foundation. I mean, that's where you get your, your education and that's where you get interested about other stuff rather than your career only. So it's really important to start teaching about this topic so people are really, well, they start worrying about this since an early age. Okay. Uh, what is feminism according to you? Okay, well feminism to me is about gender equality, it's about um, fighting about stuff that it's not um, equal to men and women. So it's about saying what aspect of our society is not equal to everyone. <laughs> According to your experience, uh, when have you seen sexism in communication? Well, like I said before, I think we can notice um, sexism in, in communications just about every day. But I think it's strongest it shows in publicity because they take what um, people believe is to be a woman, you know, like skinny, tall, and they take it and they use it in publicity every day. So maybe we don't notice, like, it's not really strong, these um, stereotypes, but it's every day and we really have to notice so we um, are able to change that about our society.